Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, plays host to the first annual Liberty Bowl football game. The Alabama Crimson Tide and Penn State University are the contending teams before a crowd of over 36,000 fans. A replica of the famous Liberty Bell is the center of attention just before game time. Imported from Japan, the bell is valued at $1 million. The Nittany Lions of Penn State take the field behind a bevy of cheerleaders. Coach Rip Engel's squad won 8 of 10 games over the regular season, chalking up 255 points to 112 for the opposition. Alabama lost only one of 10 regular season encounters. State's Richie Lucas earned unanimous All-America honors at quarterback, and he'll be the man to stop. Beauty is Colette Dolan, queen of the Liberty Bowl, waves to the crowd on a chilly 28-degree day. A 25-mile-per-hour wind is blowing, and it becomes a factor right at the start. Gary Osteen quick kicks for Alabama on third and ten from his own 36. The ball, aided by the breeze, sails out of bounds on the Penn State three. A 61-yard effort. The Crimson Tide cheerleaders are beside themselves. Penn State is in a deep hole, but not for long. Richie Lucas fakes a handoff, then bolts up the middle for 24 yards in a first down. Richie loses his helmet, but it was well worth it. Dick Pay keeps the Lions on the charge with a nine-yard canter into Tideland. Penn State is hot, and Richie Lucas keeps him that way. Lucas lofts to end John Bozick, and Big Bose rambles like a freight train before he's untracked at the Bama 18, a 23-yard excursion. Roger Kaufman tries the Alabama line, but tackles Bobby Boylston, and Billy Neighbors hit him hard. Kaufman fumbles, and guard Don Cochran recovers for Alabama to stymie the state surge. The first period ends scoreless, but Penn State has some second-quarter aspirations despite the loss of Richie Lucas with a hip injury. Halfback Jim Kerr batters his way for 11 hard-earned yards to the Crimson Tide 9. The offense sputters, so State Sam Stellatella tries a field goal. It's blocked by sophomore Billy Richardson, and once again, the Alabama defense glitters. Richie Lucas heads for the locker room, a dejected young man, and the state team will be quarterback now by sophomore Galen Hall for the rest of the game. With less than a minute to go in the first half, Alabama's Tommy White punts into the teeth of the wind. He doesn't have much success either in the air or on the ground, as the effort measures just four yards from the line of scrimmage. Penn State gets a big break and they make it pay off. From a fake field goal formation, Galen Hall pitches a strike to Roger Kaufman on the far sideline. Kaufman, behind a wall of blockers, races for 18 yards and a touchdown as the gun sounds ending the first half. Sam Scalatella converts, and at the midway mark, the scoreboard reads, Penn State 7, Alabama nothing. Halftime ceremonies feature the reappearance of Miss Liberty Bowl, stepping out of a scale-sized replica of Independence Hall. And the wind is also a factor here. After a scoreless third period, Alabama comes alive in the final session. Pat Trammell fires to Tommy Brooker in the play nets 20 yards to the midfield strike. The Crimson Tide bench lends support as 5'6 inch Marlon Dias sweeps the state right flank for seven yards. Alabama wants the equalizer, but this just isn't their day. Billy Richardson fumbles, and that's all she wrote for the Crimson Tide. Penn State's Earl Kohlhaas makes a key recovery for the Nittany Lions. The clock runs out, and the inaugural Liberty Bowl football battle is history. Penn State defeats a stubborn Alabama 11, 7-0. Happy state fans tear down the goalposts as Philadelphia's contribution to the bowl football picture is a rousing success. These are some of the people who made this show possible. Next week, Sports Spots will continue to bring you a review of the tops in sports across the nation. Whether it be basketball, boxing, golf, football, or baseball, our cameras will be there to bring it to you. Until then, this is Gene Kelly saying, win if you can, lose if you must, but above all, play the game fair and square.